Feminism. 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 What do you think of when you hear that word? Foul. Disgusting. Power hungry. Man hating. Women. Since when has feminism become associated with these negative terms? The history of feminism begins in the 1830s when women were fighting for their right to vote. However, it wasn't until the ruling in the famous case, Roe v. Wade, that the true backlash on feminism began. People who were against the decision protested by creating horrible, disgusting, fake images of women who were manly and uncompassionate. This trend has continued into today's view of feminism. However, feminism is not a group of power-hungry, man-hating women. In fact, the real definition of feminism is the theory of political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Nowhere in that definition does it say anything about one sex being more superior than the other. In fact, the definition uses the word equality, meaning equal to one another. Feminists have been trying for years to fight for equality in three fronts. Social, economic, and political e equality. On the social front, the feminist movement is working with Title IX. This law states, no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. This means that women cannot be made to take a certain class while men only take another. So if you, a male want to take a cooking class, you can. And if you are a female and you want to take a shop class, you can do that too. This is for the betterment of both sexes. On the economic front, feminists are working to close the pay gap. Currently in the United States, women make only 80% of what men make for the same job. There are serious consequences for both sexes because of this unfair pay gap. One serious effect is the economic downfall of women obtaining an education. Women who pay the same amount to go to college as a man will not be able to pay back their debt as quickly as a man. If serious enough, this could cause the destruction of companies, schools, and even harm the economy. On the political front, feminists are working for women's right to obtain proper access to health care. The feminist movement pushes for adequate women's health care in Congress. This includes access to birth control and safe abortions. This is a big deal because unsafe abortions lead to 70,000 women dying as a result. The need for adequate women's health care is a need for the betterment of society, which affects both males and females. It's time for this misconception of feminism to only live in history books. You must educate yourself on what feminism truly is, because you are the future of this movement. You. 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 You are the new hope. I know that greatness lies in you, but remember from here on in, history has its eyes on.